chased Greycliffe, who went on to a derby after the race at Seymour on uh, the 22nd of October. Kilmaney moves in, and we're nearing a start for the first leg of the quaddy. Exflitations for Michael Walker moving to the outside. Blackshaw Racing Handicap, a benchmark 64. They're set to go and they're off and racing. And uh, Exploitations began well from the deep. Sky Fire was away okay. Zuberman is going to be handy and Charlie Road towards the running rail as they make the run down the straight on the first occasion. Exploitations is going to find the lead quite comfortably. So the mayor takes it up as they come down to the winning post. It's Exploitations at a very slow gallop early. Leads by a length. Zuberman in second. Sky Fire is two lengths away in third with Charlie Road getting a nice run fourth the inside. Kilmaney was fifth one off the fence as they make their way over the crossing. Next in the field was Star Tierra, followed by Delightful Sun and Vienna Journey as last of all as they run onto the side of the track. Exploitations for Michael Walker leads away in second placing is Uberman for Anthony Dunn, Menem passing the 1,400 metres. Charlie Rowe tucks in third the inside, just keen to go a touch faster. Skyfire is fourth. Two and a half lengths away in the field to Kilmaney underneath the Star Tierra as they make the top turn. A length and a half to Delightful Sun and Vienna Journey watching it all unfold from the tail of the field. Into the back they run and with a 1100 metres left to go. The leader is Exflitations. A length in front of Zuberman. Charlie Road is a length and a half away in third on the inside of Skyfire. Three lengths start here a midfield. Another two lengths in advance of Kilmania as they make the run along the back. Piana Journey now easing out three deep and takes off around uh, the uh, delightful sun at the tail of the field. So 700 left to go. And onto the side they run. Exflitations just on a length in front. Zuberman will get his chance to run it out here. The pace hasn't been fast and Skyfire Clayton Douglas putting in a run three deep around the outside Star Tierra length off these horses followed by Charlie Road Beyond a Journey just being niggled along now as they make the run up the side from Delightful Sun Kilmaney 400 metres left to go Zuberman is up on the outside of Exploitations but she's giving a good kick they're a length in front of Skyfire Beyond a Journey needs to pick up to the outside Star Tierra in front of her down to the 200 Exploitations gave a kick Zuberman sticking on Charlie Road back to the inside from Skyfire Exploitation still the lead of it all out. Zuberman's grinding away on the outside. Star Tierra late. Exploitation's holding on. Zuberman dives. Pretty close. Zuberman and Exploitations with Star Tierra in third and running out of room in the centre was Skyfire in fourth. Next across the line was Charlie Road. They were followed across by Bianna Journey, then Kilmaney, and back towards the tail of the field was Delightful Sun. Exploitations will hold on on the inside. Zuberman puts in the bob right on the line but misses. Exploitations leads throughout, had a comfortable run in front, kicked off the turn, was really starting to battle the last 30 metres or so. Star Tierra was winding up. Zuberman continued to stick to his guns on the outside. Skyfire was the one with something to give, but. Just uh, ran into a wall there, and Charlie Road copped a bit of backwash behind the Vienna Journey. The favourite tried to take off from about the, the 600 metres, but just couldn't get any traction to the race from so far back with the, the lack of speed. 7, 2, 1 and 4, the numbers after the running of race number 5. 7, 2, 1 and 4. Michael Walker brings up his first winner of the day, Mick Price, his second after Matakanui took out an earlier event. Exploitations is a four-year-old mare by Exceed and Excel out of Fly Hire, bred to run half the distance, but she sees it out at the end of 2,000 metres today. Zuberman finishes in second for Anthony Darmanin and Peter Gallagodis. Start here at Damien Thornton and Greg Urell finishing off into third. Yet again, another race for her with a lack of, for him, I beg your pardon, with a lack of tempo for him to uh, launch himself at the finish later. Half head by three quarters with a margin 29.46 the time for the race. Exploitations around 360 and 160 on Super Tab. Two dollars Zuberman. And uh, third across the line went to start here at two dollars forty. Peter Crichton from uh, is downstairs with James. Yeah, thanks. I've got Peter Crichton from United Syndications. Peter, sh there were a few heart flutters up the straight, but she's been able to tough it out and, and hold on for the win. Mate, you wouldn't want that over again, would you? But you know what? You put the top jockeys on and that's what you get. It was a beautiful ride. That was 100% that ride of mix. You know, fantastic. She'd been knocking 
knocking on the door in some stronger races over the mile, stepping up to the, the 2000 today, and, and she has really relished that, that jump up in trip. That's her trip. She's a full to flying light, 2000 metre horse, who was uh, stakes placed, I think, in the Gibson Carmichael as a two year old. Uh, Mick's always wanted to get her out to 2000, and that looks her go. She really fought it out. Now that she you know, has got that win at, at 2000, she should or looks like she should be able to, to pick up some, some more races sort of up and around this trip. It's got to be well placed uh, around the 2000. We won't be aiming high with her. We'll just let uh, Mick sort out what needs to be done. But clearly 2000 is a go. Here's her go, yeah. And nice for United Syndications to, to get another winner. You guys do such a, a brilliant job with your horses. Yeah, we've had a terrible run, James, the last six months. It's been, a, you just can't believe what's happened. But uh, look, you just got to keep doing what you're doing and it'll eventually turn. And uh, this man's done the job. So. Well, you were full of high praise for Michael Walker and he's been able to, to get the job done quite uh, quite well. She was there to be run down, but she's toughed it out, Mick. Yeah, she did. Um, you know, I thought that, that trip would see her out. Um, I don't think she'll get any further, but that's uh, probably to her limits. And the, I had an easy lead. Um, he pressed me a bit early, which I sort of wanted to save. She's only got like a, a furlong sprint. I wanted to save it, but he took it to me. Um, take my hat off to how much she uh, and how good she fought it out. We saw you come out of the barriers in, in the previous race and your horse was a late scratching. You've taken no ill effect from, from that little mishap? Nah, I'm all good. And heading to tomorrow to Flemington with some nice rides. You did have Tom Melbourne and Enigma in the Emirates Stakes. He's, he's now scratching, but you still have a, another couple of nice rides that you know you could finish the carnival on a high note. hope so. Um, I have got to only, can only thank owners, trainers and all their staff uh, for uh, preparing the horses so well on race day. And uh, I've just been lucky enough that I've been able to reward them with uh, getting wins or placing, so I'm really happy. Nice work on the win here. Thank you. Michael Walker there combining with Mick Price and United Syndications getting exploitations over the line in race five here at Maui. Still three races to come. Sun's shining, conditions are great. Three more winners to be found, so stick around on racing.com. Has a huge stakes day special to finish the Flemington.